Hello and welcome to another episode of Pay to Play from Scratch. So I finally figured that I want to get more levels in summoning and since the green dragons aren't giving us that fast, fast uh, gold charms, I figured that I might go kill some hellhounds because hellhounds drop a lot of gold charms so I can get the part of the summoning with the gold charms done as quickly as possible and then I can probably try to even kill some water fiends. So this is what I will try around in this episode. So I'm gonna head to the hellhounds right now. So the location that I have chosen to kill the hellhounds is in the wilderness because this spot is very easy to get to and they are not dying actually as easily as I was hoping because I'm still missing a lot even though I have already the level 60 weapons but these are level 132 so that's probably the reason but I think it's still gonna be a decent place to get gold charms if it starts to feel that it's too slow then I will find another place but the thing is that almost every hellhound drops one gold charm, so that's why I came here. And also I'm getting mad stacks of XP for each kill, so that's also useful. So yeah, I'm gonna try out this for a bit and then I will decide if I wanna stay here. So I checked from Tipit and I calculated how many gold charms I need for level 19. And level 19 is when I can start using crimson charms. So I only need 56 in total, so 30 more, and these are dropping these gold charms every time, so that I will stay here, even though it's kind of hard, as you can see, I'm missing many hits when I try to kill the mobs, but then again they always drop a gold charm and they give a big chunk of XP, so I suppose it's okay, and yeah, so I will stay here until I get enough gold charms, so I can get my summoning level up to... Uh, 19 and when I have it up to 19 then I can start using crimson charms and then I can start figuring out how to get some crimson charms and I just got 47 constitution and now we got 62 magic okay I just collected 40 gold charms in this place because I wanted to be sure to get to level 19 so now I'll just grab my supplies and go level up some summoning so here we go again, let's level up some summoning. So I think we should get a level up from this right away. Yeah, and that's 17 summoning, 18 in summoning. And I just got level 19 in summoning. And this means that we can do the spirit scorpion pouch, which is with crimson charms. And I think I checked it before that it's kind of good uh, pouch to do because the secondary wasn't so expensive. Uh, give me a second, I'll check that out. So, as you can see here, the Spirit Scorpion uh, tertiary ingredient is Bronze Claws. So, this should be decently cheap. And also, we have some green charms also, if we don't want to do this. But I think I will go check out how to kill these monsters that I found on this list. So, wait a second. Cockroach Soldiers. These are very low level and they have a high frequency to drop Crimson Charms. So if this place, uh, I can kill the monsters very fast, then I will do familiarization and I will go kill the cockroach soldiers. But I'm gonna try that out first before I go do the familiarization. So let's go check that out. So I am down to the stronghold of player's uh, safety or something like that. And I have found a spot with three cockroach soldiers, but I'm not sure if this will spawn fast enough. I'm not sure about that. But at least they drop noted mithril ore, which is uh, something that's decent to pick up, to be honest, because it's... Yeah, they don't spawn too fast, actually, so I think I need to try to find another spot. Maybe there's a bigger spot than the three monsters. But yeah, they dropped already one crimson charm, and I think they will be dropping them at a decent pace. It's just that they don't spawn fast enough. So I haven't found a decent spot yet, but I was looking at the map from Wikia, and it says that there is a location that has more cockroach soldiers than this. Uh, I also found another spot that had three. But uh, the problem is that when I go over here and there is a jail door and I just can't open it. And I think this is the uh, like port to the next place. So I will have to figure out how to open this door actually. I never did this even on my main account. 
So I have no idea. I'll just have to do some research. So that's why I'm kind of wasting some time over here. Okay, so I found a lever over here and maybe I just need to pull that to open the other floor. Let's see. And open the jail door. And now we can enter this place. Okay, so this location should have more cockroach soldiers. So one, two, three, four. So maybe if we do familiarization and we use momentum and then we just run around and kill these all, then it will be kind of good, I think. So let's just try this out for a bit. I'm using momentum at the moment because I don't see any point to not use it because these monsters are very, very easy to kill. I actually didn't have offhand on because it was shooting too slowly. So let's let's put auto cast on offhand and main hand so we can shoot faster. But yeah, these are very easy to kill. So definitely it might be worth it to get some crimson charms here with the familiarization. So and they also drop quite often the crimson charms. So maybe something like run around over here, kill each and every monster and then just pick up all the loot and then kill all the monsters again. It's actually faster to use the abilities, I just realized that, because uh, momentum I'm not doing that much damage, but look at this when I'm using abilities, uh, they die so much faster, so I think I have to start using abilities here. So they die like this, and if I do the familiarization I can just make like full, full circles here, and then I just kill them all, and when I have them all killed, then I just quickly go through all the drops that I got, so no drop. There is Addy Ore and Crimson Charm. And let's see, Mithril Ore. Crimson Charms over here. Mithril Ore over here. And some Mithril Ore again. And this way I can probably loot them quite easily. And by the time I have everything looted, I should have them all respawned. So maybe this is the way to train over here. So let's take one this Addy Ore. And now we can just go for another round and kill all of them again. And I think this is decent Crimson Charms to be honest. Maybe it's not that great XP. Actually this is a loot that I will pick up right away because I will forget about it otherwise. But yeah, um, it's maybe not that great XP but they die really really fast. And when I have the familiarization bonus they will drop me 3 Crimson Charms. So this will be a great place to get some summoning levels up. So, yeah, I think this is a great place. So after this round, I will start looking for a world for the familiarization. And then I will do that and come back to this place for sure. So I found a world that has active obelisk, but it's in Etcetria. And I cannot go there with this character because I haven't completed the quest for miscellanea. So I can't do the familiarization in this world. But I will try to find another world still. So finally I found another world where I can actually find the active obelisk. So when pickup stick says that within a sight of a fishing boat, this means that it's at the obelisk of Port Cassard. And I'm gonna move right there and then I will start doing the familiarization. So here is Pick and Mix and we talk to Pick and Mix to enter the familiarization. Uh, and this is the mini game, so it's very easy. You just run around and you have to collect the shards. And yeah, uh, it's very useful to have the speed boost or the unlimited run speed from the Oglog Spa. But I don't have that obviously with this account because I haven't completed that quest. So it's gonna take me slightly longer than on my main account when I do this. But it, if you collect the 60 of the shards, that means that you will get triple charm drops for 40 minutes. So that's very, very, very useful. And this will help us get some crimson charms at the uh, stronghold that we were fighting those... What's it called again? Anyway, those monsters in the stronghold, the cockroaches, I think. Yeah, yeah they're cockroaches. So yeah, I'm gonna collect 60 of these shards over here and then I will just go kill the cockroaches for 40 minutes. Okay, so I completed that mini game and now I can get triple charm drops and I'm gonna go kill those cockroaches. 
So now I'm at this location where I killed the cockroaches before and yeah now we can just kill them for 40 minutes and then I will check out how many crimson charms I will get. But yeah I think that it's gonna be very nice. So we got the blood rune that's not worth picking up. But let's just check like one drop so I can show you that I get three. Yeah as you can see I got three charms from one monster. So that's very nice. I'll just continue killing these until I have a decent stack of Crimson Charms and until my uh, bonus 40 minutes is over. And I just got 63 in magic and I'm still continuing to kill the cockroaches. So I think we are about 20 minutes in and I have made 87 Crimson Charms. So it's decent charms, it's not like doing the, what's it called, uh, water fiends with familiarization and like high level gear and stuff like that, and also with the charming imp, but it's still decent amount of crimson charms for a low level to be honest in here, so yeah, if you're looking to get some crimson charms, why not come to this location, but I think I can still kill this for another 20 minutes or something, even maybe a bit more. So I'll check back if I have something to say or if I actually gain some level ups. Okay, so I actually ran out of air runes while I was doing this, so this is kind of bad. Uh, I'm wasting a bit of time in my timer, but now we have 105 Crimson Charms. But yeah, this location isn't at, as great as I thought it would be, but it's not bad either, but yeah, now I just waste a bit of time because I need to run to the GE and grab some air runes and go back. But I think this will just use like 5 minutes of our time or something. So we still have some of our 40 minute timer left, even after I bought some air runes. I just realized that I have collected 45 gold charms also. So I actually didn't need to kill the hellhounds, but whatever, like I got some XP from that. And now I will get some more XP from these gold charms. But yeah, we still have like 5 minutes remaining. I think it's a bit less now. And after that I will just check how many crimson charms I got. But so far we are doing great. So 165. So maybe we can get even 200 in 40 minutes. Which should be quite good to be honest for my level of a character. 48 constitution. So this is what I got in 40 minutes of cockroaches like um, after the familiarization. So the loot isn't that much, it's 300k. But I got 19 green, 180 crimson, 45 gold and 3 blue charms. So I'm gonna go use some charms and get some level ups in summoning now. So I have all the tertiary ingredients for using all my gold and green charms. So I'm heading to Taverly and then I will return to check which level up I actually get so I can check which crimson charm pouch I should make. And I just used all my gold and my green charms and then I got 24 summoning. Now I will just check which charm I should use from, I mean which pouch I should make from the crimsons and maybe I will return to this place. So next I will use my crimson charms to make 110 spirit scorpions and after this I can switch to a better pouch which will give me considerably more XP, that's why I'm not doing all of my Crimson Charms into these uh, Spirit Scorpions. But yeah, I'm gonna just head back to making some pouches or maybe I will show you how many level ups I get from the first try because I think I should get like maybe two level ups when I do this. So let's check this out. Yeah, we got two level ups from 24 to 26, so that's really cool. And I'll just do all the rest of my Crimson Charms and I'll show you what level I got. That's level 28, level 30, level 31, and I just got level 32 in summoning. So we are making some progress in this episode. I actually have an offer in, in the GE for the next 30 ingredient. And as it's an item that nobody collects, then I just probably have to wait to get the items because I don't want to overpay for them. So let me check if I can show it here. No, but it's these honeycombs. And the honeycombs are uh, some item that you pretty much don't see. And you can get them by collecting honey from the beehives in Hatterby, I suppose. So while I'm waiting, I figure that I should do a couple of daily challenges. 
and the first one that I'm gonna do is the cracked smelting wounds and I tried to buy them from the GE but I couldn't do that because I don't think anybody wants to make a cracked smelting urn so that's why I bought some soft clay and now I will just go make the urns myself and I got a couple of crafting levels I got level 13 in crafting and that's it challenge completed now I will just go finish my divination challenge that I have so that's the bright wisps and I just go there to finish the challenge and that's another challenge completed, so now I will just go return all my challenges. So I got some level ups from the daily challenges. And for some reason I can't get the daily challenge done from the shellfish. Oh yeah, that's because I didn't collect all the shellfish. Ah oh, yeah, I have to go buy the fishes from the GE and then I can complete that challenge too. And now I finished the shellfish challenge as well. And now we can use some spins. So I have five spins. I got a lamp, a large cast bag, some fletching supplies, prismatic lamp. Yeah, so pretty cool to be honest. Actually, I thought that the lamps are no more, but I suppose that Jagex brought the lamps back. So I don't know what skill to use them on actually. Maybe I should use everything on... Wait a second. I think I will use everything on defense anyway, but... Agility is kind of annoying also. I think I would use it on agility because I don't want to level up agility and I just want to do the quest. So yeah, let's just use it on agility even though that won't give us that much XP. But at least we got two levels. Uh, how much is the cashback? This is so much, like 130k. And on my main account I actually get 1 million. And I don't just understand why Jagex would give me so much free money. But whatever, I'll take it. And yeah, that's pretty much about this. So yeah, I think I will log off for a second and wait until all my honeycombs have bought so I can check how many summoning levels I actually could get in this episode. So I just came back on and all my honeycombs had bought. So I decided that I would use the rest of my crimson charms right now. So maybe we will get some level ups and maybe even get level 40 so we can use the bull ant. I at least very much hope so, but let's see. Level 33, 35, 36, 37, 38, and that was it. So we got level 38, so we need only two levels for the bull ant. So we can't get that right now, I think so. I'm gonna check how many blue charms I have, because maybe it's enough, but I doubt it's gonna be enough. So I actually only have, wait a second, it was somewhere over here. I think it was seven, yeah, seven blue charms, so that's not gonna be enough. So I don't see any point in trying to get that. So I think this is the summoning level we will remain in this episode for now. So I took some time to clean my bank and also I left in some offers. So as you can see, our sapphire necklaces haven't still sold. So maybe if it doesn't start selling in a couple of days, then I will probably decrease my offer and try to just get rid of them. But I don't know, I still believe that the offer will go through. Um, and also, oh, we just sold another amulet of accuracy. Uh, yeah, uh, the insta sell price for bronze claws was 5 GP. So I figured I'd try to buy a couple of them for 10 GP because I bought them for 370 when I did summoning. So maybe that will work. And then I bought I decided to buy some supplies for Herplor because I need to get Herplor levels up. And this is quite cheap actually to make the defense potions. And yeah, I actually didn't calculate the price, but 2000 potions and it doesn't cost that much. Uh, one potion will give me 45 XP. So this will be fine. So I'm gonna probably do these 2000 if they go through. And that's pretty much about my offers in the GE. I still have like some time in the timer that I probably want to spend in this episode. So maybe I should go kill green dragons for a second. But now I will just leave offers in for my bones and hides that I made in a previous episode. So I will get some money because I'm very low on money at the moment. And I actually spent money in this episode so far. So yeah, we have to start kind of making money soon because I want to make another bond or actually two bonds. So yeah. Or actually I just realized that I have been lingering on, on with this episode for almost three hours. So I figured that maybe I will just quit this episode for now. 
So yeah, in this episode we didn't make that much money, but we got a decent amount of XP because we got the summoning levels up and the summoning is kind of hard to level up and we got a couple of level ups in magic as well, so it's not that bad. And yeah, in the next episode we will probably make some gains with the herb lore more. I just slowly started the herb lore. But yeah, we are getting towards making this char stronger and stronger every day. But yeah, it's a lot of work to make money and also do skilling at the same time. And that's why you shouldn't really try to make membership with a bond like this. It's much better to pay for the membership. But of course, this is a challenge and we want to uh, um, get this challenge done and we want to get the QBD killed. So I don't know. Maybe I could actually even try killing the QBD just right when I get 60 summoning. That might be interesting to see. But I think I will wrap up this episode for now. So see ya in the next episode. And I hope that you have enjoyed this video. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys later.